Everybody's doubting and asking me to please not take it up the mountain. I'm gonna take it up the mountain. Just deep, deep, heavy snow. I'm gonna walk you guys through a lineup of equipment here that we brought to save one stupid telehandler. We got it. Jamming? Well, yeah. It's the only way to get through the day, don't you know? We are going back for more, man. So it's been almost a week. It's plenty of time to heal. You know, your hands is going to be introduced to the whole shit show. Believe it or not, viewers, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited too. The telehandler is still in the exact same spot, still stuck. Uh, the owner of it went up to try to get some work done on it to try to get it to drive. He was not successful in getting it to drive. So rather than fight it down the mountain like we did last time, we're gonna try to put it on the back of the rollback and then tow the rollback down the mountain with the snow cat. Feel good about it, I'm excited. And we are gonna go either save the day or kind of recreate what happened last week. No, God, no, God, please, no, no. Just get deliriously angry go home empty handed. That's not gonna happen. Cause I found a $2 bill in the seat of my truck today. <laughs> no, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. I will, I will show it to you right now before I even cross out the gates cause I need the luck. That bad boy right there was sitting right underneath the seat of my pants. Uh, down $2 actually. Yep, probably are. Cause I haven't had a $2 bill for a while. Show. No, he said <laughs> the show. And we can say the shit word because if you guys saw how this went last time. The track came off. That is not looking so hot. Well, start. It's 5 a.m. Absolute shit show. And you guys got more snow. Oh yeah. A lot more. So one thing is the boom works. Yeah, boom works. We got a tow truck, we got winches, we got all sorts of stuff. And I have a track that is successfully installed on my snowcat. see about that. Last time it was successfully installed too. Just stay out of my ruts. <laughs> For those of you just joining us, if you didn't catch the last video, you probably shouldn't watch this one. You should just go back and watch part one where uh, we got our asses absolutely handed to us for uh, for about 24 hours straight. It was one of our worst failed recoveries ever. But it wasn't a failure because we learned from it. We learned that we're gonna come back and try again. Brought lots more equipment. We brought a wrecker rollback that uh, is probably gonna be the first thing to get stuck. Probably gonna be the first thing to get stuck. Probably gonna be the first thing to get stuck. So that'll be fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I, wanna go, I wanna go ahead of that. Yeah. We'll park whiskers after there's ruts yeah. and just not use it. So the day's already starting off with a bang. The pony pump motor on the uh, trailer doesn't want to work, so that's cool. Telehandler, as you saw in the last video, does not go through the snow very well. Even when the wheels are spinning and it's working under its own power, it's all over the damn place. Well, it's not fixed. Uh, the owner came up and he got the boom working, put some hydraulic oil in it, but the wheels still don't want to turn for whatever reason. So you guys saw how it went, trying to pull dead weight through that much snow. It didn't work out very well. In order to be able to get it moved from where it's at, we need a couple of winches pulling in different directions. So Robbie has a skid loader with a winch box on it that we're gonna take up. And then we're also gonna drag this tow truck up. The reason we're doing that is because this has another winch on it that we can uh, kind of finagle. You may be looking at this thinking like, that's not gonna make it up there. And under normal circumstances, you'd be right. However, we put chains on it. We're gonna air it down. This truck does have double locking diffs, so it does pretty well. And we're just gonna drag it with the snow cat. We're gonna use the winch of this to be able to get the telehandler back on the road. And then we're gonna winch the telehandler onto the bed of the tow truck and drive it down the mountain because the telehandler is just all over the place. Whereas the tow truck, we know that it runs, we know that it works, and we know that we can control the load going down, even if we have to use the snow cat to kind of help uh, finagle it. So I think this is gonna be the secret weapon. Don't get me wrong, this will struggle in the deep snow, but I'm gonna plow it, I'm gonna push it, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to make sure that this thing can make it up, load the telehandler, make it back down. And luckily this is a big heavy duty bed that's designed to haul heavy equipment. So Robbie's tow truck 
truck unfortunately is a little bit too light duty for this wouldn't be able to haul that telehandler this is the big miller oh, industries flex. it was like not it was like a subtle flex I do it flex on it flex all the way oh yeah this bed is better than robbie's no this is just a bigger heavier duty bed uh from miller industries this is 28 foot i think vulcan or chevron bed i can't remember which one this is brand new and we bought it. it's like the first piece of new tow equipment that i've ever owned and uh it's been great so that with the 20,000 pound worn winch plus the winch on the skid loader i think we'll be good i gotta tell you right now if you haven't already go over to robbie's channel and give him some love robbie is a solid dude we've worked with him on and off for the past couple of years but this is the first time i've ever had the opportunity to get like in the field and in the trenches with him and I'll tell you right now, he is a hustler. Him and his whole team, all of his guys, just like salt of the earth, good old boys. Uh, when it hits the fan, they just roll with it. Just like, you know, it's my kind of people. So give them some love. Their channel is growing like crazy. They're putting out some awesome content, recovery stuff, auto body stuff, automotive performance. Like it's entertaining stuff. And I'm looking forward to working with them today and hopefully you give them some love. So with that said, we're gonna uh, get the tow or get the semi hauled back closer to the parking lot so we don't have to drive the snowcat that far and then we'll slowly start migrating up the canyon. Now that is the problem. Could be just up underneath or something and when you wiggle it, it just happens to... It happens to work? Yeah. Good, at least today's starting out great again. Yeah, I found a $2 bill in the seat of my semi truck. That's a good luck sign. Well, everybody say one positive thing. Alan, where's Alan? Alan. Uh, happy fun times. See, see, how could you not have a good day after that? <laughs> Big bad green, big green bad green machine. I hope it goes last because it's going to be the first thing stuck. You said it. Big bad green machine. Brought a wrecker rollback. Probably going to be the first thing to get stuck. That was a, an aggressive move on my part, and honestly, it was kind of intentional to see if uh, how well the chains would work on the tow truck. Not working that well. But then again, there's no weight on it right now. The recovery number one is already underway. So far, we're almost one for one today on recoveries. Pretty good. walk you guys through the lineup of equipment here that we brought to save one stupid telehandler. Starting with Whiskers, the old snowcat that couldn't last time is here to prove that it can, that it can. We've all got confidence in Whiskers. Last time it was just a, it was a fluke deal, one time thing. Cracks don't usually pop off. Robbie's gonna be a little more aware of the terrain. Next up, you've got Robbie's new toy, which everybody's all excited about. Cat 59, 
track skid loader, skid loader with a, uh, the Reaper attachments makes these uh, winch boxes for the front of skid loaders. This is the smallest one I've seen. We're actually working on building our own version, which is huge for a giant skid loader, but that's handy. 15,000 pound winch. Uh, we just saw it worked to pull the tow truck out. So that's good. We're gonna use that winch like crazy with a bunch of snatch blocks to be able to pull the machine, the telehandler back onto the road. Next up, we've got the Beast who uh, also got himself a little bit of a black eye last time we were up here. Broke the main hydraulic. Hydraulics are good, that thing's good. It's ready to go do some heavy lifting. We got the transportation, the Polaris Ranger, which we should have brought last time because that would have saved us multiple trips up and down the mountain in the back of Bud's truck in freezing conditions sitting on top of plywood. Not that it wasn't a great experience, I just don't need to experience it again. And then we've got the wild card. We've got my rollback tow truck, which nobody has confidence in except for myself right now. Everybody's doubting and asking me to please not take it up the mountain. I'm gonna take it up the mountain. Because I have this vision. Yes, what we do? Where if we get up there, start pulling on the telehandler again, it's just gonna wanna just. <laughs> don't wanna play that game. So we're gonna be able to use the winch on this, which is a big, heavy duty, nice winch, along with the winch on the skid loader to be able to reposition the telehandler back on the road. And then we're gonna winch that telehandler onto the bed of the wrecker, the roll back here, and then we're gonna tow it all down the mountain, kind of just in a chain with this. So biggest challenge we're facing right now is getting the tow truck up to where we're going because it's heavy and it's not four wheel drive. Well, it is four wheel drive, but not six wheel drive. It's got uh, drive axles in the rear. Um, it's got traction tires, which do decent. We've got one, two, three, four, five pieces of recovery equipment, plus the support vehicles are another one, two, three, four, five. We got 10 vehicles and multiple trailers here. Autobots, roll out. We roll. door the door doesn't shut at the moment something happened so it's just kind of so I'm gonna use this strap and I'm gonna strap my door closed hopefully it don't fall off the mountain Here we go. oh I know that we're stuck 20 minutes in not even that vehicle but I'm here say something nice then he's doing a great job thank you I actually you, feel no, great you made it way further than I assumed oh, so no, this thing's making it <laughs> we're just getting the getting the hang of 
where he feels comfortable in the middle of the road. Oh, hey, where's your two dollar bill? Shit, rub it. <laughs> Dude, I got one too. Do you have a two dollar bill? Yeah, we can rub it together. Oh. Are we, are we ready for that? We have, we have two dollar I just barely bills. met you, bro. <laughs> hey, same beers, same two dollar bill. I got it in here. Hang on. This is the lucky touch. You get like one wish. We want to use it now? Right here, just give him a little. That's rare. You don't see two two dollar bills in the same place ever. snow uh, and it's fine until we get to the turns because when we get on the turns one of my tracks starts spinning and I lose a lot of traction and then that's when he gets the heaviest so I think this is the tightest deepest turn I hope and if it's not I'm just gonna keep saying that every time we get to the next one and be like this is the last one there's no how it goes is a recovery yeah I think we're like four or five recoveries deep already yeah All right, how long are we gonna go before we get stuck again? 100 feet. I have a surprise for you. Okay, what's the surprise? That was the surprise. Really? You just have a bucket of cheese? And sausage, summer sausage. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> That's sad. That's just sad. Ladies and gentlemen, sometimes while we're cruising up this hill, you know, the steering wheel's going like this, and I'm like, oh, that's getting too hot. Oh, what do I need? Tongs. Yeah, you do. So then I start driving with tongs instead. Lots transpired in the last three hours. How long have we been up here? Anybody know? We've gone 
1.3 miles. We're not even halfway. I don't know, let me see if Dave's called. <laughs> oh, hey, hello. Well, gone forever. We're a mile out. We're about a half a mile out, actually. So oh, really? That's he, not bad. He, I could drive there from here. Wait, what's he want to do? He's going to pull you up in there and then pull the back end around and then drag it in reverse so it's digging on the way up. Because there's nowhere to turn it around up there. But we're literally like three turns away right now. We're like this. Gotcha. And then we're there. Gotcha. All right. What are we doing? So this blazer's been broken down on the side of the road. So every time we've come up, it's kind of been in the way. So we want to just move it so that we don't have any issues when we come back down past it. super impressed and I eat my words. <laughs> it made it. We did it. How long did that take? Two hours? Much longer than two hours. Look, it was a necessary evil because now we have a big ass winch up here. We got a flatbed. We got a way to haul this telehandler, which is slowly falling further and further down the cliff. The plan now is to figure out how we want to rig this thing, how we're going to winch it, where we're going to pull from, all those different pull points. Uh, we're going to use a snowcat as an anchor um, and then just slowly wiggle it back onto the road. And then once it's on the road, we're going to put it straight on the bed of the tow truck. Easier said than done. No, no, no lateral force is just going to pop this back on the road. It's going to no. have to be like, like a full side pull. Multiple pulls. It's not going to want to rotate uphill. No, this wants to fall right now. We don't have the traction to be able to rotate uphill. Our best bet right now is to get... What might, what might be good is this pulling off the boom, just holding support so that that top doesn't want to roll at all. Because right now... I think if we get a, if we get a line from that tree down to the front, uh, hook point or the boom somewhere, it'll slowly get back up on the road. We can get, because the heavy part of it is, is the front, right? And that's what wants to slide off right now. If we can get that back up, we can just do it in stages. Yeah, no, definitely in stages. I'm just thinking hold points. I don't think it's, I don't think it's going anywhere. I mean, it's sitting on such a pile of snow that the only way it's going is up if we start pulling on it. So let's, uh, let's have somebody get a snatch block up to that tree, the big one there. I think from there we have another snatch block come off of that tree right there to your winch and then that pulls it backwards and up so we're both pulling up and backwards yeah so let's do that you're gonna be needing to dig like a foot but turn hey back yourself all the way in that's actually good turn it oh I see. just unscrew it and then it will rotate and then it'll pull out and then it'll rotate just enough for me to get the cable in there yep rotate yep and then like there we go that's a pretty big tree at the bottom there yeah. that is. 
Yeah, you want me to double down? <laughs> oh, this is over <laughs> My leg went through the hard pack. <laughs> I'm trying to get out. Oh. You got snow on your face. Yeah. I put okay, let me. There's nothing here. I'll pull this way. Kelly Ho! Pull, Alan. Pull me. Okay, hold your horses. Yeah, then he can pull into the mountain. <laughs> And then Hard let's to grab stop them horses. We're gonna take this off. We're actually gonna wind our cable in a little bit so that we stay on the back side of this pulley so as we're pulling it doesn't just want to pull through the pulley. He's a good one. <laughs> 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 okay, you're live. First pull? Yeah, we're gonna try it. In theory, we should be pulling 45,000 pounds with this 15K winch. We got it doubled twice, well, two and a half times. So Dave's gonna get into position, and then we're gonna try to bring the back end up first. Let me, let me get behind you with the cat. So let the cable all the way down. I'm gonna get behind you, we'll anchor you to me, and then uh, we'll pull there. Let's see if that tree's actually tipping over. It's working. We just can't lose this cable or we're in deep crap. Okay. Good, go. So we're getting the we're getting the hooks past the snatch block so we don't run out of pulling power because we're gonna get it. I just want to look like I'm doing. Uh, that's frozen. I gotta grab the torch. It's frozen. Dude. He's gonna grab the torch. It's frozen, man. Another section of cable to hold this. We have to reset again. Absolutely. Another chain or a piece of cable or sling or something ready. We're gonna get something. Turn your machine. Right there. Here we go. off a tree now and try to get this back just push more onto the road What's the problem um it's probably just froze up it's not wanting to tip i think it's trying to get the floor i think it's the auxiliary hydraulics Might be able to get rid of one of the snatches and just pull straight back now. 
So let's just get rid of this you big... You want to just go try this first and see if 15,000 pounds Oh, straight work? from there, there, yeah. Yeah, let's that. just do it without any... Let's just pull this, pull this piece of cable out of the way. Okay, let's get that Look undone. Here, pull that out. Yeah. A little more. Yeah. We're about to boom out. It's happening right now, it's booming out. We're booming out. We're idling the truck up, which means it's time to run the winch. So, I'm gonna go do this. I'm gonna make myself look like I'm doing something. Good news for you guys. The telehandler is officially on the back of the rollback. That's good. It's really good because it means it's not sliding off into that ravine anymore. Uh, the bad news is I'm hungry and thirsty, which means uh, my morale isn't as good as it could be. I'm not in a bad mood. I just just need some snacks. So I want to have actually one of my favorite drinks. Not even that. Just Redmond Relight. It's like electrolytes. It's like a fantastic like recovery drink. So I'm gonna have this. Um, now we are just finalizing chaining down the telehandler, cleaning up all the cables, the equipment, the gear, and uh, we're gonna start working our way down the canyon. My biggest concern right now is uh, tow truck brakes, making sure they, they function properly and it's, it's braking correctly. Um, telehandler sh should be pretty secured on the bed. Uh, now that we got a chain down, I'm not too worried about that. Um, I'm also a little worried if the tow truck gets off camber at all and one tire starts to sink, it's really top heavy now with that load on it, so I don't want it to tip. So, I'm gonna follow behind for a couple minutes with a cable tethered from the snowcat to the wrecker to make sure that it doesn't run away. And once we feel that that's good, it's got its, you know, its own traction and its own control, I'll probably go ahead and plow the road some more to cut off another foot or two of snow. Well, I mean, we're still leaving a foot or two on the road. We don't wanna completely scrape the road dry. But if I can kind of cut off more, the more I cut out, the more I plowed, the better this whole day went. So that's just something that I probably uh, need to do. So that's the plan right now. Um, 
and we're gonna get moving. And then hopefully uh, Bud's down at the bottom with some pizza or something. I think he is. And if he's not, he's fired. That might be why you're sliding. I'm, there's slack in the chain. Yeah. We <laughs> smashed into it. Doing really good, actually, right now. Who is it? Oh, both of you. Thanks, Alan. I was just fishing for that compliment. You're doing awesome Thanks. there, hands. Yeah, really That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Man. All right, that was a little extreme. Okay. People are going to think it's staged. Plausible deniability. I'm about to pull up my door. Alan, can you take that ratchet strap, run it behind my door? Okay. Hey, we did it. Finally. That was a good one, man. Yeah, that was uh, a right on. fun one to test our uh, our patience and our skills and our people skills. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Right? The people were fun. Guys, that was a wild one. Um, the plan worked, I want to say perfectly, but not quite perfectly because the tow truck did take a little bit more brute strength to get up the hill than I expected, but it made it up. It did. And there was nothing else getting that machine down. No, no. It, I was skeptical. Yeah, I know that you were. That was the only way that was coming down. Yeah, and even then it was a little sketchy, but honestly, there's no way that telehandler, all the wheel tires, everything was locked up. It wasn't driving. We would have just been breaking ropes and stuck dragging it all the way down the canyon, having to slide off the edge. Whereas with the rollback, we were able to get it to the bottom safely. So that guy's happy. We're happy. I don't know if the neighborhood's happy, but we did our best. Hey, you know what? The machine's not up there anymore. She's not up there, not blocking the road. Yeah. We won't get complaints about a piece of equipment going off the cliff. That's true. Well, dude, I, uh, I might uh, I might have to have you return the favor to help us on a recovery. It's like 10 minutes down the road from here. Yeah, absolutely. So we might be back tomorrow. To does that mean I'm not on your do not answer list? It does. It means that you're still in limbo. You're still you're still in the lobby. You know what? That's fine. You're not in. You're not out. Hey, that's fine. We'll see how it goes. You're no, saying I've got a chance. Hey, listen, guys. This guy right here has incredible work ethic. His old team, like, this is the type of people that I like to hang out with because when shit gets bad, they just smile and just have a good time. And that's honestly kind of the way we do things. So uh, nice work, very impressed with uh, your operation. You. And I think the worst part about this for you is you're in central Utah. I still live here. Exactly, well the <laughs> problem is anytime anything happens for us between like south of Salt Lake and Vegas, you're the guy we're gonna call. I'm fine, yeah. hey, hey. Perfect. We will bring the B team. I love it, the B, the B team? All right. The B team. I like it. Like I said earlier, make sure to give Robbie's channel some love. They're cranking out some awesome content. Channel's growing like crazy, and they post religiously. Like, they have a very rigid schedule. And I think three times a week. Three times a week, I don't know how they do it. It's impressive, so uh, link in my description below. Go follow the channel, give them some love, and uh, maybe you'll see them in the next video. Maybe I won't answer his call. Maybe you won't answer mine, I don't know. Maybe I, won't, maybe I won't call. Come on. I think we should do all outros next to the stack. That's a great idea. <laughs> That's a fantastic idea.